I'm Elisa. And I'm Kira. And you're watching Polymer Clay TV. You can find us online at polymerclaytv.com. And you can find us at polymerclayclassroom.com. And craftedonline.com. And don't forget about our network, polymerclay.ning.com. So enjoy the show. Hi everybody, today we are talking about incense burners. And what you see here is just an assortment of incense burners that I've made over the years. These ones are swirled up and then I've added some cane and this is just done with scrap clay. So it's really easy to make an incense burner and a great way to use up a lot of your scrap too. This one here was done with a mold and I've added some Swarovski crystals into that. Added the little dream and I think those are Maureen Carlson's molds that I used for that one. Here's one I put a little turtle on it and just kind of complemented the colors, you know, as best as I could and added a little powdered pigments and I had a really cool incense burner. This one was just done with scrap and this is a little snake and really easy to do. Just swirl up your clay and then create the shape. Add a little tongue, whatever you want for the eyes and you have a cool incense burner. This one I added a crystal, so if you have any kinds of crystals or stones that you want to add, you can do that. This one's here has a cabochon stone. This one here has just a, a jagged edge stone. So you can use any kind of stone you have. And it, it makes a, a really neat incense burner and changes it up. These are some pinch pot ones that I've done where I just swirled it up. And then added this the designs in the center. And here's a little pinch pot that I made into a snake. <laughs> and another one that's just plain. And another one that I've added some incense. Added some... Um, Decorations, excuse me. Um, so you can really mar pretty much do anything. Let me move these aside and I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, just an easy incense burner to get started with. All you're going to need is a little bit of scrap clay. And I've rolled it into a ball. You'll need your blade if you're going to do this technique where I add cane slices. You'll need your blade to cut your slices. You'll need a rod to roll the pieces out so that you can then piece them around your scrap clay. And what you want to do is just cover it. And I, I like to use my rod to flatten it. And you can use your pasta machine, you know, it's totally up to you. But it works easy this way for me. And you just keep piecing it around. Here's another cane I made. Actually, use the right end. So you can you can alternate different canes or um, this one here was not rolled down as much as this one, so you can add both on there and you know just get a neat look. And you just fill in wherever you need to cover the scrap with however many slices you need. This is going to be a pretty big incense burner, so I need a few more slices. But this is how you would do it. You would just cover up your scrap. And you can leave a little, since this scrap is the same colors that are in the cane, you could leave that. Roll it up until those cane slices start to meld with the scrap. And you'll see it, you'll feel it. And once you have it where you think it's melded nice, you pick a section that you like. Use your hand to flatten it. Just give it a little push. And it'll kind of make a neat shape there. And there's two ways you can make your hole. You can use a knitting needle or a poker. Or you can just use a, a stick of incense. And then you know you're getting the right size for incense. Go straight down. I like to give it a little swirl. And that helps to make it bigger in case some of the incense are a little bigger than this stick. And there you have it. The easiest incense burner you'll ever make. And how cool is that? <laughs> 